Good evening. My name is Wahid Lutfi. In this uh, session, I'm going to explain to you uh, how we can just um, use the Pello um, library from Python. Let me share my screen first so we don't miss that one. As you can see in uh, my browser, I already went to the Pello uh, the doc.io. And then uh, Pello is the library or module that we are going to discuss in this session. And the version that they're uh, reporting is 9.40. Uh, Pelo was the friendly version for Python image library that um, Python image library uh, as of uh, 2011 was uh, forked off by Pelo. And then uh, the version, uh, previous version was for Python 2, but Pelo is the new version and it is uh, supporting more functionality and features on Python 3. So you're welcome to use Python uh, Pello modules to do image um, graphics. Uh, so uh, let's just, um, first of all, uh, discuss this one. But before I uh, go through the documentation and all that information that is available, I want to show you there's a lot of resources on the internet that you can go. For example, this information, I got it from the Python um, documentation. This is uh, when I went to um, Python docs.python.org. So you can visit docs.python, uh, sorry, not docs.googledocs.python.org. Uh, and you're going to docs.python.org. Then you click on the library reference here. And then under the library reference here, Python package indexer. So you go for each package and then inside here, you just uh, search for a uh, pillow which is the library that we are going to discuss here tonight. So when you look for the Pello, you can see the version Pello 9.40 and it's a fork off from Pell. And then the rest of the details, all of them are here too. And if you wanna just read the documentation, obviously you open the um, module uh, documentation and you start reading and understand it and practice it. This is one way you can get the information here you can see the whole documentation, installation, handbook, everything is there. If you just click on the documentation, obviously you will just get uh, the entire um, documentation of a uh, Pello module. And if you just go on the installation, it shows you how to install it uh, on uh, every um, uh, platform, whether it's Windows, uh, Linux, Mac, you can see here that for Linux, it shows you this command. Basically, the syntax of installation Linux, Mac, and uh, Windows are almost the same because you're installing Python 3-M for module PEP. You're using PEP to first upgrade your PEP version. And you say Python 3-M PEP and then install dash dash upgrade PEP. Once you upgrade your PEP, then you are going to use the same PEP module to upgrade the pillow. If it is not installed, it will install it. And if you uh, meet the uh, requirement, it will just tell you that it's going to uh, meet the requirement. Later on, I'll show you on my Windows machine, for example, how to do this. Uh, Mac OS X is similar. You see the syntax of this one is the same. And Windows is the same because you're using this Python stuff. You're not using the package manager like Homebrew or um, apt-get or YAM or DNF on Linux. Uh, kind of uh, Linux uh, platform. On Mac, it's Umbrew or um, PKG you can use. And then FreeBSD uses ports, so it's a little bit different than other operating system. FreeBSD and BSD are basically Berkeley software distribution. So they're using ports and then uh, you could do that and then uh, use the PKG. PKG is supported by Solaris, uh, Mac, and FreeBSD. To, uh, it's like almost package manager compared to a Linux. Um, for example, on Red Hat, you would use YAM or DNF. And then on the Ubuntu, you use um, uh, app-get and app-install and so on. All of those ones are available, but um, on this one, uh, we're going to do it on Windows. So these are the command that we are going to use. In addition to these, uh, you can also go to my website, mywebuniversity.com and watch the videos that I've already uh, done uh, for uh, Python, uh, C, C++, programming, Unix. The entire book is there online that you can practice it. 
chapter by chapter and everything. So on other um, videos that I made, I showed you how easy it is to learn uh, Linux or uh, shell programming or Python programming or um, uh, C, C++ um, online. And then this was uh, my uh, YouTube channel that all of these videos are all available for you. It's more than 800 videos that I have made for you. So you're welcome to just go and like it and uh, watch it and learn from it. And uh, whether you learn C, C++, Python, everything, then there's a video for you that is I'm going to teach you from introduction to intermediate to advanced level. Uh, some of them are modules, for example, like SIS module or OS module or NumPy module that I haven't covered, but I will cover it. Um, I'm going to cover Pella module today. So these are available for you, um, depending on where you go. And then uh, you're welcome to just go and, um, and watch them or read them online or just um, read the documentation. So in as assuming that you are doing this one on Windows platform, and then um, you could do the same thing on uh, Linux or Mac. There's no syntax difference. So I'm going to show you on Windows. And I've, uh, I have already done it. Let's assume that I'm going to clear my screen here and um, just uh, shorten this one a little bit here. So you can see the commands that I'm just typing here. Let me just uh, make sure that you see what I see, clear the screen. Um, I'm going to just resize this one a little bit different. And then, um, so we're going to just show you this part right here. As you can see, the first one, it says Python 3. So if I just have already Python 3 dash dash version, then that means I have already installed Python 3. Now the module dash M saying that use the pep module. So also I could say pep dash dash version. I already have the pep uh, there also, um, the version that is for Python 3. So it's going to show me the Python um, uh, 3 version of uh, pep, which is a pep 22.1, uh, and it's Python 3 version 3.10. So that is already there. So that means I can use that command, say Python 3 dash M for module, use the module pep, and then the argument is install, dash dash upgrade, upgrade what? upgrade pep. So since I have already upgraded it, it's not going to upgrade it. But if it, I have not upgraded recently, some of the packages that needs to be downloaded, it's going to try to uh, find them and then downloads it. And as you can see, it says pep 3 23 because I have 22 version. So it's going to do the 23 because I provided the dash dash upgrade. So it's gonna just uh, upgrade it to 22. Next time when I do that dash dash version, it's gonna say you have pep uh, 23. Once this one says successfully installed everything, then I can uh, just do the second one for the pillow. And let's just uh, see how long it takes. It's a little bit slow, but uh, it should be done right away. Right now it's done. So now if I just up arrow and say pep dash dash version, and instead of 22, I should, should get 23, in which it does. You can see right here. So that's good. We did the upgrade and the, the, the upgrade did the latest one. Now I'm going to just clear my screen so you can see everything on top. Then I'm going to say Python 3 dash M module pep install dash dash upgrade. This time we're going to upgrade the fellow module. If fellow was uh, installed already, it will just uh, install it. But let's assume just, I'm not gonna do this command first. I'm gonna show you pep a list and then say find a string and then uh, slash I, and then we just search for pillow. So whether I type in pillow in uppercase or lowercase, because I say find a string slash I, meaning ignore the case, I could type it anyway, and it's gonna find the version that I have in 9.204. So this is the version 9.40. So I could just do the command above, say Python 3 dash M pep install dash dash upgrade and then pillow. Notice I type in the case sensitivity as the documentation says, because sometimes if you're just typing lowercase, it will not find it. it uh, Unix and Linux mostly is um, case sensitive. So it did find it and it find the 9.4 version and it did upgrade it. So if I do the same command that I did uh, earlier, 
that reported 9.2, I should get 9.4, which is the one that is on the documentation. Let's see if uh, it does report that. And if you don't do any fine string, you just do a pep list, you will just get the information about uh, Pello modules uh, and every other module that are installed on your system. Again, it's a little bit slow compared to uh, these uh, commands that should be really efficient, fast, but maybe because I open a lot of uh, uh, stuff and then I'm, I'm recording it at the same time, my memory and resources and bandwidth of the network all uh, plays a role here. So uh, it is um, kind of, uh, yeah, it just needed another uh, presenter. So it is showing 9.4, it is good, it is upgraded. So now we do have it. Let's just uh, go to our examples here that I'm going to uh, show you here tonight. Um, uh, it, we talked about this module. Uh, you can always go to the documentation here, but uh, before we go to the documentation, I wanna maximize this window and then show you uh, that when you're inside the Python interpreter, how you can get documentation. You can always go to the website and just uh, search it the way you, uh, I showed you, but here's how you do it. So I, uh, since we are um, running Python 3, I type in Py, uh, Python 3, and it is going to take me uh, to Python. At this time, these are the directories or the modules, double, double underscore method that are already uh, coming um, available for me. It's already loaded. These are a standard, uh, uh, packages or uh, modules or double underscore methods um, that we can call it. Uh, then um, at this time they are available with all the specific uh, methods that are there and then the attributes that are associated with it. But uh, we don't have any uh, uh, module called PEL. So I'm going to say import PEL. If I just do this one, this is the old version of uh, uh, Python 2 PEL, but we're going to use um, the enhanced version of that one, which is PELO. And then when we do import PEL, at this time, if I just do this one, there are PEL, notice that this one has all these other uh, packages that are uh, there and all the uh, classes and everything associated with it. So I'm going to just uh, do uh, one thing on it. I'm going to just... Um, say uh, from pell uh, dot image import image okay so what you're saying that uh, the pell uh, image uh, class is going to be imported as image in this case here now you see that dir of image now this image is a class right so we could say uh, all of those method and uh, attributes are available for, for the image object. So if I create an object, I could uh, point to um, image class and use these methods and attributes of image uh, class. So if I say type of image, you can see that uh, image is uh, class type, which is a class itself. So type of um, L is going to say it's a module. But this time I'm gonna exit out and then I'm gonna clear a screen and then I say Python 3. I'm gonna go to the same way and instead of importing PEL this time and say um, from PEL import um, PEL.image import image. So this is right away you can see it. Now if I just want to create an um, object out of this one, I could just say, for example, image is equal and say image and dot open, and then just uh, create a, give a name of that PNG file. And if I just uh, don't have the directory structure, everything, I can always go to the OS. So I say import OS and then say OS.system and then see um, if there's any uh, directory uh, star.png is there or not. If it is not there, I could say, well, I have it under another directory called um, inside the Python, I could see dot dot slash uh, images slash uh, my 
uh, web view slash store.png. So if I just do that directory, but I need to do a command in front of it. So I say ls minus l, I'm sorry, this is Windows, dir command. And then I close that uh, one. Uh, so images was not found. Let's see what is uh, the directory here. I'm going to, okay, my web view is uh, invalid switch. Let me just uh, exit out, see first where I am. Clear the screen here, directory here, directory dot dot slash images. Because I was on Windows, I had to, uh, okay, I'll go to directory up, to directory up and then images. This is going to show me all the directory on images. And then uh, the one that is, um, uh, the one that is, um, let's call it this one, simba1.jpg. I'm going to open that one for sure. So let's just uh, do that one, clear screen. Um, I could even go to the directory uh, so I don't have to um, type in that I remember the path of the images directory uh, to just demo one thing quickly. So I'm going to say cd dot dot and cd to images and then directory of Simba. So I have a couple of, um, uh, uh, at least a, a few of the Simba uh, files. So I'm going to open one or two of them. Let's say Samba one or Samba two, we're going to open it. So here I could say Python three, a quick uh, dirty um, image, Python image, I could write uh, the way, then I will just go through the documentation. So this would be a, a simple introduction to this. So I say from um, Pell, uh, from Pell dot image, import image, and then I say image is equal uh, image.open. And then I give the name of the file and it's called simba1.jpg. So you just open that file as image. And then let's see why it says uh, image as an, a no attribute open. So the reason it is doing that one because uh, I said from uh, pel.image import image. So let me uh, see why uh, it did not uh, see that one. Um, from Pell import image. That, that should have been like that. Uh, so now we're going to uh, do this one and it opens it. So now type of image, image is an object. And then um, if I say image.file name, you can see that the name is symbol image dot size, we can get the size of the image. Image dot width is the uh, 4032. Image dot height is the 3024. And then image and dot info will give me all the uh, data dictionary with their values and the whole data that on this image that is there. But this is not intuitive to see it. So we already did this one, let's just say, import sys and then sys.os and then we clear our screen. Since we're on Windows, we do this one. Uh, I'm sorry, um, system dot, system.os, um, sorry, um, os.system, I'm just typing it fast and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Import os and then do this and then that would clear it. So in order to clear your screen, you say import OS first, and then OS.system, and then you type in the command, like directory would just run the directory command. And if you just change the directory to clear a screen, it will just clear your screen. So we did the image, uh, and now we have something called image. All we have to do is say, okay, this is uh, that type, I could say image.show. Since we opened the symbol, it's going to open that symbol image on the screen uh, in a, a few seconds, and then we will just observe it that, yeah, that is the file that we wanted to look at it. And right now it's loading it. It's a little bit huge file. So notice that it is uh, sideways. So in order to just open it in, uh, there, there's uh, commands that you can say, um, for example, rotate it, and then say uh, rotate rotate image or something. Uh, you could also say 
image dot rotate and then say 270 and then uh, dot show. So instead of uh, doing it on another image, another object, you can do it in place and that would be running the image and uh, rotating it so you could see it uh, in a way that you want to see it. You see that um, we just did the rotate command and then the image rotate and just made it perfectly because it was sideways. So I uh, rotated 270 degree and that uh, just brought it here. So now let's just uh, change that image dot open. So I'm going to say image image dot open and then this time I'm going to say Simba 2.jpg. I believe it is JPEG, but I will uh, see if the file is not there, then you will get IO error. Then you have to just make sure that the file is uh, okay. So this time I'm gonna say the same thing um, without, the, without the rotation. And we will see if the image of uh, the Simba 2 will open properly. If it doesn't, then we rotate that one as well. So that one is off. If you wanna just uh, assign it to uh, not in place, the way you do it is uh, just, um, you could say rotate underscore image is equal, and then say uh, image dot rotate, rotate, and then 270. So first you rotate it, and then you say rotate dot underscore image dot show. Now you're going to display. So let's see why it did not do that. Um, uh, rotate, oh, rotate the typo. So the name, I whatever you type it uh, with the assignment to the variable, you have to give that variable or that object in this case, and then dot method. Rotate dot show, and it will show it in that uh, syntax that you want to see it, okay? So this is a very simple um, way of, uh, and doing uh, image manipulation if it is uh, like offline, but there's a lot of more uh, functionality, a lot of more methods I'll show you later. But on this video, let me just uh, cover a little bit more on this one. So I'm gonna exit out of here and then clear my screen. This time I'm saying Python 3, Python 3, and then I'm gonna say uh, import Pell, just like that, and then say dir of Pell, you can see all the directory listing of uh, this one. Then I could say, for example, help on Pell. Notice that when you type in help on Pell, it says Pell, uh, Pello was forked off from Pell by um, the person Alex here that uh, was originally, uh, he uh, forked it off. And then the previous uh, writer name is also Frederick here. So we can just also get a, a lot of uh, these of uh, details here. Notice that are a lot of the information. So a lot of the methods and everything that's available, it will tell you. But remember um, when I did this one, let me just do import OS, OS.system, uh, clear the screen. And then I'm gonna just say um, help on uh, Pell. So this one, and notice this path. This path, if you just edit, uh, right click and say edit copy, and then go to a browser and just open a new browser and just paste it here. Um, let me just paste it here. And then this one will get you to the GitHub uh, Python uh, for him, the person that who wrote it. And then you go to the readme on this one. Um, if you look at the GitHub, there's a, always a README file for it. Click on the README, read. Uh, there's all these modules, everything that are written, there's documentation for it. So click on the documentation. You will be going to the same thing that we went there. But this time, instead of using the uh, methods and then the installation, all that thing, you can uh, actually go to Handbook. And then on the handbook, there's a lot of uh, tutorials that you can practice them. And then under the overview, you can uh, see the entire things, um, giving you uh, why this one is uh, very uh, intuitive and very helpful. You can do so much. And then 
They give you examples here under the tutorials. You can practice them. Um, so you're welcome to practice all of them in front of your machine on uh, Linux or Windows or Mac and practice them and just learn them. So that is uh, for you to uh, practice. And if you're doing a porting, for example, from an older version, instead of typing import image, you say from Pell import image and or from, and instead of doing this, you just do this for the core. So all of that documentation is very, very helpful. And if you're looking for the handbook reference, obviously there's a lot of more examples and then the functions that you use, the method that you're using, the attributes, everything is there. So let me just um, close this one. You already know and close this one. We already know and then close this one also because this is all the things that we went through and then uh, we're going to go in details on the actual um, documentation here. So uh, as you can see here, uh, you're uh, having all this one, but uh, let's just uh, say uh, os.system and then we're gonna do a clear screen here. And then at this time, I'm going to say, okay, what was the directory method? So Pell had these ones. These are all the double underscore method. For example, double underscore doc. So uh, double underscore doc, if you want to see uh, Pell uh, dot double underscore doc uh, done their method, you could see that this is documentation of whatever we were seeing on the website. But notice there's new line characters here and there. So they are not in a format that is much easier to read. In order to read it in a nicer format, you just say print, and then you just say pell dot double underscore doc. And then, so when you put it in the print statement, uh, there's one more double underscore here, the insert uh, removed it, and you will see that one. So uh, os.system, the screen. And then run this command, and it will just tell you in a nice format that say that the uh, Pell was forked off from that one, and that's the new version. So this is one way you can get the information. Now, let's say you want to do um, for the doc, and then you could say, uh, let's say a spec, a spec underscore uh, this. This is actually the specification of the Python images uh, that is there. Uh, for um, Pello, and then it uh, tells you all the path of um, the uh, original of the Python, the name it is there, everything detailed here. And how do you know some of these ones? Uh, like for example, uh, Pell dot double underscore version. You see 9.40 was done from there. We could also get that one from OS dot system outside uh, of the OS, we could say, pep uh, less and then uh, find and then slash i and then say uh, let's do find the string slash i and then say uh, hello so um that would also uh, give you similar output but uh, notice how fast it was uh, from this one and now uh, we got it from the operating system level as well so some of the details are here so if i say help uh, pell uh, what else are there? And uh, there's a lot more. So you can uh, see a lot of the details are here. But in order to do this one, I just uh, wrote this uh, for you on my uh, directory here called programs, uh, clear screen, and cd to python, dir slash o colon d star dot pi. So I call it um, type, type um, hello underscore and demo1.py. So notice that I wrote this one. In order to uh, show you all of these commands one by one as example, I'm going to uh, just uh, start off here, uh, clear screen. I'm going to start off, uh, let me just resize this one. I'm gonna start off here for you, um, Jupyter Lab. So you can get, get these commands in one by one, and I, I could just do this, for example. Python 3. If I don't want to use Jupyter Lab and it's not installed, or you, you could say import Pell, and then you say print uh, help on Pell. So that would give you the entire uh, help. You read the help, and then you're done with it. And then you say uh, print uh, Pell dot double underscore name. 
So this is another way you can get that on the name and spell and then the version. You can get the version and then you can get the doc, the doc string, we call it in documentation and then uh, a specification, which I showed you earlier. So inspect, and then um, we could also get, um, uh, what else we could get, uh, let's say build in, build in or um, a little bit more because all the uh, modules and every classes that are there, um, the details are there. So you can see this list was a lot more here. All the methods and, and double underscore and other magic method and attributes, everything all uh, together are there. So if I just make this a screen bigger, it's a lot. So you can see the big uh, built in there, but I'm going to resize this one so we can just do the rest of them. And then um, also os.system, uh, clear screen again, and then uh, import os and os.system clear screen. Import os, os.system. I must have typed some character there wrong. Okay. So here we do a print dir. And so when you do a print a dir of fell, it's already showing you what I showed you earlier, all the methods that are there. And then um, you can also get it in one column. So you could say for item and, and dir of fell. And then you just say uh, print item. That would just uh, show you in uh, these kind of formats here. And then um, what else, um, pel.image, you could also get the directory of that one because we're going to discuss uh, pel.image a little bit more. So uh, print um, door of um, pel.image. Image is the class. So we're going to get that one, uh, image door pel. Let me just see print door um, pel.image. And well, let's say Pell has no attribute image. So um, when, when I did the uh, import, uh, in this case, I just did uh, import Pell here. And then uh, if I just do this one, it's not going to show. But if I say import Pell um, dot image, image, and then we do this command, and it's going to show. So uh, sometimes, uh, depending on what class you're uh, pointing to, you have to uh, do that one. So right here, if I just say os.system and then clear the screen and then do this, it shows up. And then if I just wanna know the type of this one and instead of uh, printing this, I could say uh, type and this one, it says this is a module. And this module has these uh, methods. A lot of these methods, some of them are not methods, some of them are attributes that are, um, for example, image.size, image.width, uh, image.height, and uh, image, like this is OS module. And then you also have the uh, sys module. So if you're looking the uh, directory of, um, let's say this one, .OS, this is also another module. But if I look at the type of this one, notice this one has a lot of um, OS uh, images as if I'm doing door of OS. So door of OS is the same thing as door of uh, image of this. this. And uh, door of says module uh, might have the same thing as um, door of this says. If I have the sys module inside the pel.image, then it will do it and it is the same. So you can see all the methods and everything are the same because uh, there uh, are, how you know that whether the sys or this, you have to run a command and to do it. And the way you do it is like this. So I start system and then um, clear the screen. So here I could say there of, um, there of uh, pel dot image, image, and see if there's a sys or not, but you could uh, write the Python uh, code. You could say for item and door of uh, pel dot image, and then uh, do a something here. Say if um, the string says an uh, item, an item or the string os 
uh, an item, then print those two. Uh, two. Otherwise, uh, don't print anything else. So you could say print item. And then this one will just uh, show now sys and OS because they are both of them are there, sys and OS. And then the word OS was here, the OS was um, composite and, and uh, transpose. So those ones are also uh, shown. But uh, what I was interested on this one specifically on those two. So this is how you are going to get around these images. So if you are looking for like help, uh, pell dot image dot, uh, let's say transpose, we saw that one, transpose, then you can see that you're a transposing image and it will tell you all the arguments that are passed here as uh, the uh, image. So you can do uh, the width and height and everything from top to and the bottom, transpose it to a different uh, kind of values. So some methods that you're going to just uh, do, and those methods will do the uh, uh, transposition. Similarly, if you did uh, like the, instead of this one, you could say rotate. Rotate method, rotate. Then it is uh, going to show you that rotate, rotate. Let me see if rotate, oh, rotate does not have a T, I believe. I, uh, let me just see uh, for, I'm going to do that uh, for a statement here. And I say in a state of this, I could say F, um, let me just see if that was, okay, I'm going to type it in. F, um, F uh, rotate, I'm going to type in up to that point. If it is an item, then print it. Let's see if um, print item. If it is there, it wasn't found. That's why it uh, not, uh, did not show. But um, rotate was on the object, not on the um, the image itself. So the object that you're creating, you're going to uh, create it. So if, uh, if I have that uh, um, door of image, I believe Simba is, no, let me just uh, create an image and say OS.system, there is screen. And I'm going to say, um, image is equal open and then i'm going to just say image and dot open and this time i'm going to uh, create a raw directory and uh, so i just don't have to uh, just go to where the directory i am i could uh, find the image there so if i say c and demo slash images and then slash um simba uh, simba.jpg to see if that file is there it's gonna find it images image maybe okay so let me exit out and just find out where this actually it's right here under images yeah images and then uh, simba1 dot uh, simba1 dot jpeg so uh, i could say python 3 clear the screen sort of uh, simba python 3 uh, so uh, from pell dot image import import uh, uh, image and then say image is equal uh, at this time I'm going to say uh, image dot open and then I'm going to open that uh, Simba one uh, Simba one dot JPEG and then uh, notice uh, this one is going to open uh, image dot open Simba one dot has no attribute open so oh so from felt dot image import image um, from pell.image, let me just say import pell.image as image. So the, the syntax, you don't say uh, this, you say uh, import pell.image.image as image. And that would work. And then when you do this one, it's not gonna complain. So you could say image dot show, it will show that one. But before I show it, I could say image dot size to just to show you the attribute of it, uh, uh, height and width. And then I'm gonna say um, uh, type of image. This one is just an object, uh, type of image, one bracket. And then it says this Im uh, image dot file name is going to be that name. Um, what I wanted to show you earlier, I said I have to have the object type uh, for rotate. So you could say help image dot rotate now. Rotate and then this one has a method there and now rotate is going to show. So then if you could say uh, rotate it, say 
image dot um, rotate, and then if you say uh, 270 degree, which was the right uh, thing to do, and then show, and then it's going to show that image. But what I wanted to show you that if the object has a method called uh, rotate, in this case, image object, which is um, the cat, uh, as an object, it has a rotate, so you can flip it or uh, uh, put it in a different direction, you can do that, okay? So that is for that. Let me just um, show you one more uh, thing on this one. Um, I'm going to not get in Jupyter notebook uh, this time. I'm going to do it all on command lines. It's much easier. When you learn it from the command line, the IDE is much, much easier. Uh, you don't have to. I remember anything, you just put a dot for the object, the rotate method shows up, the parameters are there. It's all uh, IntelliSense and uh, it's very intuitive for you to do it. But then when you learn it from the command line, it's much more uh, easier to just uh, see the uh, online help also. With um, Jupyter, you could put question mark and then the object name or the uh, method name and then you get online help as well. So here, let's just um, show you some more programs. So another program that I wrote here under programs, Python. Let's switch uh, gears here from this screen. I'm going to go to a green screen here and then clear a screen here, directory star.py. And then I'm going to show you this thumbnail. So first uh, image that I'm going to show you is this thumbnail underscore pillow. Uh, this is uh, kind of like hard coded an image called pillow. So let's clear the screen and say type thumb uh, nail underscore pillow dot pi. So notice that this program, it do, does from pell import image. And then we are going to write a function def and define this function called thumbnail, t nail, uh, t uh, nail. So I made a typo on the thing. I'm going to correct it right now. And the nail is not the name, the thumbnail. So I'm going to say Adam. I'm going to use Adam because it's much, um, uh, a nicer looking and instead of notepad and then I could do notepad faster and everything but um, uh, Adam is also nice so um, and then Adam already expired <laughs> last year but uh, if you're using on a uh, client machine that uh, you shut down the machine there's no security involved here we're just going to uh, make sure that uh, it looks nicer to your eyes so you can learn it faster and that's why I'm uh, going to do that one. I don't need to install anything here. And um, those ones and uh, additional package. So this um, other pack uh, things, welcome guide and, and uh, this one I'm gonna close and then the project I'm gonna close. Uh, so let's see if uh, what else this is there. And then uh, so I'm setting this one I'm gonna close. So welcome, I don't need the welcome. And, and this is the only program that we're going to do. So let's just uh, correct this one, thumbnail. And then I'm going to also correct the thumbnail function calls. This is the definition. So we are having this try except pass error. And then if, if we're gonna try this one and if the image is found, it's gonna just uh, uh, open it and show it in a, a nice way for the same one for thumbnail. Um, but if it is not found, then it's gonna just uh, uh, do an IO error and then it's gonna just uh, say that this image is not found. So let's just um, uh, call it thumbnail and then we are gonna save it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Okay, so on this one, I'm going to just uh, type that um, um, program. Oops, sorry, not Adam. So Adam is going to open it again. I'm not going to worry about that one at this time. We can just close it and uh, type thumbnail. So you can see that the, the uh, information changed here. Clear my screen. And instead of doing a type, this time I'm going to say, Okay, so let's do a type first. Uh, type. And then, oh, this time I'm gonna say Python 3, and then uh, this uh, command line, 
We're going to pass it and run it as there. So since it's hard coded with this name, it's going to uh, find this one and it's going to just generate another uh, thumbnail for it and then open the thumbnail. And then after it uh, just creates it as, and saves it as thumbnail, notice the name is given that extension with that one. The uh, actual file was hello. And then we have now a thumbnail with this size 1280 by 720. So that is like a YouTube uh, uh, kind of nice format. Later on, I will show you automation of this one. And then this is very good for you if you're um, a, a, a person to post things on um, YouTube and then you just want to generate automated um, um, automated um, thumbnail, then you should run this one. So right now, this one is just uh, doing this. It opens this PNG. And then creates a thumbnail, saves it, and then it opens it. The actual uh, file, notice this is the thumbnails. The size is uh, really nice and uh, things. And it just says Python Pello Library. But the actual file, if you just uh, are here, let me just uh, show you the actual file. And when you look at the actual file, the only difference is in terms of the size of the actual file versus the other one is uh, different. So if I just... Uh, put um, this one uh, and then just say uh, start and uh, this one pello.png and instead of this one if I just open this one you can see that uh, that file the actual file is the same but notice that the size is different so and instead of uh, just uh, looking at them here you can also just close these two and then uh, you could just say python and then um, python 3 and then say um, from tell import image. And then you could just say um, image is equal and then image.open. And then just pass in uh, the argument, this one. So the first one, notice this one now image.size, you can see it's this and image.file name is that. And then if I just do the same thing with the other one, so and instead of uh, pillow, the na other name was thumbnail underscore uh, pillow. So I'm going to say uh, thumbnail underscore pillow. If I do that one, um, I must have typed something here. Uh, pillow uh, thumbnail. Um, let me see thumbnail. Oh, the uh, namel. The name of the image was wrong because I created with that one, uh, and then uh, just that this. I only uh, fixed the function. In the mail. <laughs> and then that would just um, open if you have the name of the file correctly, like this. Um, so let me just uh, do this. And then just assign that one. Notice the name is mistyped, so I'm going to do image is equal. And then this time, if I say image.file name, you can see the wrong file name uh, with M is the, there. Uh, rather than the other one. But name doesn't matter, you can correct it and rename it. And then um, image um, dot size and whatever size I define it on the thumbnail, it is the same thing, okay? So that's how you uh, get that one. Now, you might just say, well, hey, that's great, that is good, but I wanna just automate this one. Can I automate it? Notice that I have created a number of these ones and then I said, well, yeah, let's just uh, automate it. So um, I'm going to show you this image and that I'm going to do, uh, do this green one. I don't think we did this one. And this is pillow underscore two, right? So pillow underscore two, and then there's no thumbnail for pillow underscore two here. So let me just um, go on this directory and then uh, go to directory uh, CD to image and then images and then uh, here uh, i'm going to go to my web view clear the screen directory hello um, hello start so notice that i have a pillow too but i don't have anything with thumbnail on it so let's just um, run this other program uh, clear the screen here and then i say directory uh, thumbnail dot start so i'm going to say i uh, use this one and uh, this one is um, a program that is going to uh, read the command line argument in Python and is gonna parse based on the number of argument passed. If you do not give enough argument, 
is going to say uh, this is the syntax you want to run this program. The um, Python uh, interpreter, the name of the script, followed by the name of the PNG file. And then once you do this one, it's going to take that one as argument one, and it's going to make this function called main. And then on the main, the data file is going to be uh, used. And notice here I'm using the FR string, which is uh, both for um, FS string as well as raw data. So if you could pass and see column or something, it's going to understand this on the path. It's not going to complain about one slash or two slashes or any other data. So this FR is an enhanced version of raw and F uh, string uh, function together and that you can use in Python now on version three. And then as I'm doing the conversion, I'm changing the thumbnail for it and then do that one. So and the name of the file was uh, on this other one directory. Uh, here is called pillow two. So I'm gonna copy pillow two here as name. We could just see if uh, it creates a um, pillow uh, underscore two dot PNG. So pillow underscore two dot PNG, I'm gonna just call this one and instead of hello one dot PNG, which we already demonstrated, we are gonna say uh, hello underscore two dot PNG. I believe that's what it was, but uh, let me double check. Yeah, hello underscore two dot PNG, all uppercase, doesn't matter the name because Windows doesn't care. So you're gonna run this one. And then when you run it, it's going to uh, just uh, take a few seconds or a little bit more than a few seconds. It's gonna open up the new thumbnail file and, and look at how nice it is. So now if I go here on this command line here, just to uh, resize this one, because we opened that file, I wanna see if uh, that file actually uh, created and uh, file also here you can see run this command dir um, pillow and you can see that it uh, create this one but also the uh, thumbnail star and you can see a uh, thumbnail uh, pillow dot this so if i close this one and then just say start uh, this one notice the timestamp everything on this one and it is um, the file that we wanted to create in this case and then here you can see the name that I'm giving it is a start with thumbnail underscore data file, which is pillow two in this case, the uh, .png. So you could say, go ahead, open this one and it will open that one in a very nice format there. Okay. So this is the Python uh, pillow library that is uh, doing that. But um, you might say, okay, so how do I do this one uh, for my course, uh, not for my uh, video or my YouTube channel? So this is how you do it. You just generate a YouTube uh, video here, then uh, just use uh, snipping tools, uh, copy this one into a file. So uh, well, I did this one already. So I uh, created a file called Python automated thumbnail. Let's see on this directory uh, where I have on the, my web university. Uh, clear the screen, say type Python. Uh, so notice that this file is uh, here. Let me just um, make this a screen bigger. And then um, at this time, if I just say uh, start this one, this is the JPEG file. So it's a good way that you can practice it with JPEG, PNG. JPEG is normally nicer format and everything. So notice how nice this one looks uh, right here. So when you make your... Um, thumbnail, it is going to look much professional uh, to just display it on your uh, on YouTube channel. And then you're doing a Python automated uh, th thumbnail. So notice that this one is a Jeff file right now. It is not uh, the actual size of the thumbnail, but because I wrote the script, I'm going to show you the script here. Let me just put this one on the side here. And um, actually, I'm going to close it because I'm going to open a thumbnail for it. So you don't have to open, uh, do it. And then I'm gonna go to uh, the directory of um, programs uh, and then Python, clear my screen, directory of um, thumbnail star.python. So now I, all I have to do is say um, type this one and then the name of the file I believe was .png. Let me double check on that one. So uh, here back again, Sorry for all this back and forth on the directories. 
if you keep it all in local uh, place, one place is much easier, much smoother. I didn't want to do that one because in the real life, you're going to override it and the directory you have to um, keep those files, uh, images on a separate file, the Python program on a separate file. That's how you program. So here, the name of the um, Python automated, I think it is under my web, you for my web university. So directory of Python star dot, Python star dot PNG. And then this is the, no, that's uh, for Windows. Let me see directory automated. Yeah, this is the name, Python underscore JPEG, JPEG, not PNG. So I'm going to um, copy this one and then um, go to this other directory on this uh, one right here. And then uh, I'm going to say um, Python 3 and then um, Tom nail underscore fellow dot pi and then this name and then uh, just uh, do that so this one will just use your uh, thumbnail that we just opened it and now i mean your image that you did and you have a, a size of it uh, properly there so how do i know the size of it let's just uh, verify it with that verification we will close this video but um, let's just uh, look at the uh, files so i'm going to clear a screen and say directory star automated and then and there's two files one is uh, this one and then uh, the other files uh, it should be the thumbnail so um the um the thumbnail and then directory uh, thumbnail star and then uh, here is the pillow um let me just see where i created the thumbnail so um, I must have created on the images directly. Directory thumbnail, directory automated. Actually, clear screen, CD2 um, programs, uh, CD2 Python, uh, directory automated, not automated um, thumbnail type. I wanna just see the content of it. And so we can see where we save the thumbnail. The save uh, of the thumbnail is right here. If our um, uh, empath thumbnail underscore data file. So empath is this one. It says images, my web uni, and then a thumbnail underscore data file. So uh, that is how uh, that it is. And then it is uh, there. Uh, let me just um, come up here again. The small size, this one. Directory to images, so in directory to my web view, directory O colon D. This one, it will just show you all the files that you did. Notice that I have the actual uh, uh, thumbnail uh, file and then the uh, thumbnail um, fellow two and then the thumbnail uh, fellow.png and then um, automated um, thumbnail.jpg is uh, there. I wonder if it actually created this file and uh, Python, yeah, it uh, must have because it uh, opened it here. Um, so let me, yeah, the size of it is a small. So the actual file name that I gave is, um, oh, this one was, uh, I gave the uh, argument this one, but uh, inside the script, I'm uh, running it there. So let me run it one more time. I'm gonna say, uh, Python, uh, actually, and this is going to be the code. So Python three, Python three, and then this name, and then the uh, uh, source is this one. Maybe we. And then, oh, sorry, cut and paste did not work. Let me just put it again. Um, edit. And, oops, Windows is uh, kind of like back and forth jumping, copy, and then here to paste, okay. 
but it's working now. It is going to open it. Okay, notice the name that it is uh, created is with this name, temp something dot png, and it is there. But um, whether this temp uh, file, when I saved it, it uh, must have not found out path correctly. And then it uh, saves it with this name under the data file. So I have to just do something with that path to make sure that it finds the right path there. Um, and then this one would be temporary on the system, but um, directory of uh, TMP, anything here with TMP? Directory, TMP, no. So that is uh, some name here. I could just uh, force it to just give a name uh, by default um, because uh, somehow this parsing of uh, FR function, maybe it is not working properly but it should have still uh, do it. Uh, so it says, uh, oh, the dot show is there. The dot save is uh, there and then we're opening it. Uh, we're opening it. Otherwise, if, if the open works here and then the dot show opens, this means that this also succeeded, the save file. Uh, the MPAT demo and then TN underscore data file. TN underscore data file and then TN is, um, on the demo images, demo images. Uh, okay, uh, demo images and directory of TN. And then TN Python, yeah, right here. So it did create the file and that is the file. So I, I just was looking at the wrong name. This is the name, uh, thumbnail automated. And it, uh, if you just open that one, it opens the same one that we were looking at it here. See, it's nice. So it, you can also uh, find out uh, the name here, say you know, Python 3 and say uh, from uh, Pell import image, image and then say um, image is equal, um, image and dot open, and then just um, give this name. And notice that this is the size of the thumbnail. So it's, um, 1280 by, by 720. So if I say image.size, you can see that it is a 1268 by 720, like here, whatever that size that I had uh, provided on the actual um, program uh, that uh, I run it. So, and here in this case, it opens it. And then the um, other one, so if I say image.file name, you can see that it is uh, that name. Now I'm gonna change the image dot file name from that to that original uh, name. And then now image dot file name is this name and then image dot size and notice is much bigger. So the height and width uh, is uh, there, but when we did the thumbnail, we change it on this. I hope that this uh, clarifies all the uh, confusion and then um, you should not be confused. You can always look it up. And it was just a path information that I had to be in the right place. So you could also say image dot, um, the image um, dot width, and it's gonna give you that 2052 dot height, uh, and then also uh, dot info, and the all details for the data dictionary. Okay, exit out of this one. We're done with this uh, demo stuff, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'm going to post uh, the entire um, uh, things either as Python pillow or um, I'll make it two videos and then uh, put the second uh, thumbnail as uh, this uh, this one, the, the, the automated. So you will see, um, start from a slideshow. This would be like uh, the automated uh, tools from um, the thumbnail. Um, the reason I made this video is because a lot of us are just creating thumbnails and there's not that much tools to be available. When you have automated Python program, all you're doing is give the name of image and then you will create a thumbnail for it and you're done with it, okay? God bless you all. Uh, please make sure you um, uh, just uh, go to our videos and uh, just watch them and enjoy them and learn them and subscribe so I don't waste my time just making videos for nobody. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.